when a lot of people think about competition, they automatically think about rivalry. Like in other words, you know, someone being exactly the same as you and that's what they look at as competition. But especially if you get into like Mike Porter of Harvard Business School and his like definition of competition and he has something called the Porter's Five Forces, which I know that you're familiar with. I mean, it gets deep. I mean, it could be substitute competition where it's not necessarily the product being similar, but another way in which a person can satisfy their needs and they'll do that instead of your product or service. And we can even get deeper and deeper and deeper into what competition is. So what I'd like to do is I'd like to talk about competition. Sure. And I would like to talk about it maybe um, in a couple different ways and okay. kind of break it down as, as maybe follows. So first, number mm -hmm. one, let's talk about your definition of competition. Okay, I see competition competition as opportunity. One, if you have a rival, it tells you you're in a good field, that people are interested, right? Okay. Because if there were no other people doing the same thing as you, that means that there's no market there. Mm -hmm. So the existence of rivals is a good sign. Okay. Uh, but you also look to your rivals and competitors, whatever you may want to call them, and say, are there things I can learn from them? Not to copy, but learn from them in the fact that what they're doing may not be working, Right. Or, you know, maybe this is a new sound that they're playing with. But your point is when you look at your competitors, you're learning, what can I do different? Mm -hmm. Where can I resonate differently with the audience? And the next thing to look for is when you see your rival. And it's fun to have a rivalry because when two bands, two artists go up against each other, it only draws attention to themselves. Mm -hmm. And so sometimes people actually fake rivalries, mm -hmm. right? We see it on reality TV. It's fake. Oh, right, the producers right. whisper in the ears, you <laughs> hate this person. <laughs> and that is drama, and we love the drama. Pro wrestling is all faked, right. scripted, right. but we love the rivalry between this wrestler and that wrestler. It happens in the music industry. Right. They're, they're friends backstage, but on stage, you're like, how dare you, you dissed me? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And that just gets the audience say, ooh, did you believe he said this? Is, you know, and that right. just builds intrigue. And that leads to my next point is that what you really want to do with your rivals and competitors is collaborate. Mm -hmm. Now, in the business world, there are all these antitrust laws about competitors collaborating. Not in music, right? If your rival is more successful than you, see if you can open for them. Mm -hmm. That's a huge opportunity. So you thought they were the competitors, but look, you both have fans that share the same love of the same kind of music. Right. So your competitors, your rival is actually an opportunity to reach their audience. Right. And if you have a different audience, maybe you can share audiences with each other. Mm -hmm. If you're using social media, by all means collaborate. Right. Introduce your, have them come on to your video, you come on to their video. And I think that helps grow the pie for everybody. Wow, interesting, okay, good. So let's also move on to maybe part two. When you talk about competition, uh -huh. uh, a popular strategy is to create what's called a competitor analysis. Right. Where you kind of uh, look at what other people out there um, mm -hmm. are doing um, that maybe might share a similar audience as you. Right. And you look at both their strengths Mm -hmm. And maybe you try to do a little bit of that. You look at their weaknesses, try to avoid that. And then, of course, you look at what they're not doing. Right. And if it is relevant to your target audience, maybe you might position yourself in that little window of opportunity where you can find a competitive advantage and kind of stand out and be different, distinct, and memorable. Mm -hmm. um, can you uh, talk a little bit to the audience about uh, the process of doing a competitor analysis? Because uh, musicians, when it comes to this, for some reason I have found, they're just like, I don't understand, I don't know what to do. And it's just, because the idea of them going out and watching a show and lo looking at what someone else is doing and then going out and watching a show and go, huh, mm -hmm. they did this, they did this, but they didn't do this. Maybe I could do this, you That's know? Exactly it. Can we talk about that a little bit? Yeah, you're looking for opportunities. Mm -hmm. Right, you're not looking for a way to bring the other guy down. That's right. what we do in business. Right. But in the arts, we're not, I'm, not, I'm gonna bring this guy down, no. You're looking for opportunities, as I mentioned earlier, to collaborate, but more importantly, to differentiate. Mm -hmm. So you're going to concert, you're listening to albums constantly and saying, okay, this is cool, I like what they're doing here, but let's say somebody's using a lot of Indian music in their album. Right. That doesn't mean you should go out and use Indian music in your album too, because you're just a copycat, right. which only enhances them. Yeah. 
Rather, you say, well, they're using Indian music. What other kind of music? I like that fusion sound. Mm -hmm. What can I do without copying them? You know, maybe I look to classic blues and integrate right. that into my music. Right. So use that to stimulate the imagination. Absolutely. Now, another thing you can look at is when you have a competitor arrival, mm -hmm. you look at things that they cannot do. Right. And sometimes their strength is their biggest weakness. Mm -hmm. So if, you know, let's say there's a band and it's achieved mainstream success. It's got huge corporate sponsors. Their music is used on soundtracks for Disney films. Well, guess what they're not going to do? They're not going to offend their sugar daddies. They're not going to be controversial. They're not going to be outspoken on certain issues because they've made it to the top. They're all multimillionaires. They're not going to risk that. Right. So that's your opportunity to say, okay, their strength is that they're established, well-loved, corporate, they've got everything. That gives us a world of opportunity to be the rebels. That's right. Yeah. Right. Now we can talk about issues that they would be afraid to talk about. Right. We can do things on stage that they maybe gave up doing 40 years ago. Right. And because now they are on the soundtrack for the next Lion King, they don't want to offend that audience. Right. right. So that's what I say. Sometimes somebody's strength is actually their weakness. They are so powerful that they can sell out New York, L.A., Chicago. Well, that leaves all the small cities for you because they're not going to go to Albuquerque and mm -hmm. Sacramento mm -hmm. and Tulsa. Right. So you say, well, they're so cool. I mean, I would love to sell out the Staples Center. Yeah. Who doesn't want to sell out the Staples Center? But, you know, Long Beach is not that far away from here. Right. Right. And so use that as an opportunity. Absolutely. So, you know, a lot of these, uh, uh, I mean, look, we're talking about competition here and uh, it's the thing that maybe isn't the sexy sort of buzzword or thing to talk about, you know, with young musicians that are mm -hmm. worried about, you know, Instagram followers and, you know, and tricking algorithms and stuff like that. But it's sometimes these concepts and this research that can help and lead to insights that really dramatically make a difference in your career. So thank you very much for sure discussing enough. this. All right, you've been listening to Competition as a Tool for Music Artists. Please be sure to check out future videos that can help you turn your art into a more successful business. Please be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. Peace.